just one hour and 15 minutes in this it, what could be his final singles competition of his career. Afterwards, McEnroe hung around to watch Davis Cup teammate Andre Agassi get knocked off by fellow American Michael Chang. The second-seeded Agassi still gets $100,000 for losing. Other winners Wednesday included local favorite Michael Steak, who stunned the top seed, and Pete Sampras, who won in straight sets to become the third American to advance to the quarterfinals of this very money-rich event. Back in a moment with skates and a top-notch play of the day, but first, more college results to the tune of the hip-hop beat, man. Primetime sports begin Saturday night at 8.55 with an NFL football doubleheader. First seed, the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills at 8.55. Then stay tuned for the New York Giants and the Phoenix Cardinals. Sunday's action starts at 7 with NFL football as the Cleveland Browns take on the Detroit Lions. Then stay tuned at 10 for more NFL football with the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. That's primetime sports this weekend on AFN. Flying back to the state soon? If you have a non-resident alien, spouse, or child, they'll need visas. Getting them takes time and money. And keep this in mind, visa fees are a reimbursable travel cost. Call your personnel center for more information. You can win two tickets to the United States or Puerto Rico in the USO American Airlines home for the holidays giveaway. The drawings begin December 14th. All U.S. ID card holders are eligible. Register at any USO in Germany before December 17th. For the next few moments, get ready to do nothing but relax. Holland, it's one vacation you don't have to work at. Contact your ITT or tours office for information. The night on ice now, first time on Canadian ice for Detroit's Bob Probert in almost four years. Probert had been unable to cross the border since a March 1989 arrest on a drug possession charge. Friday, Probert received permission to enter, but the Wings exit with a loss from Toronto as Toronto powered past the Wings. There's Bob Probert playing up in Canada and gets some welcome home signs. First period, 2-0 leaves. Toronto's Nikolai Borshevsky on the breakaway, but Tim Shevelday up to the task, turning him away with a pad save. Second period, 3-1 leaves Toronto on the power play. They were on it all night. Dimitri Mirnov to Doug Gilmore. One times it through a crowd. 4-1 Leafs. Third period, 4-2 Toronto. Another power play. Mike Felino. The rebound puts it upstairs. One of two for Felino in a 5-3 Leaf win. The Leafs scoring a season-high five power plays. Toronto scores its first win in five games. Cliff Roning with the goal, three assists. The Canucks roll to stretch their home unbeaten streak to 10 games. In New York, Ranger rookie Stephen King authored the scary tale. Two goals, including the game winner in a 6-5 decision over the Lightning. The Caps stay hot. Their fifth straight win, a 6-2 effort over the Devils. The Bruins' four-game win streak is history. Alexander McGilney, the hat trick for the Sabres. And it was Hartford's turn to spank the Senators. This time, Ottawa now 0-15 on the road. Mm, gotta love that Ottawa team. This week, we here at CNN Sports are on a mission, and it is to inform you of our fifth annual Play of the Year show. It will take place Christmas night, but those presents of the 10 best will only be delivered to you if you send us your vote. The vital info is in front of your eyes. Take it down and take action. As Tabitha says, choose or lose. Could this play of the day be the play of the year? Not a bad entry courtesy of Georgetown's Joey Brown. Taking the punishment in the paint, maintaining some air, Getting the bounce and the roll for the Wednesday night play of the day. Back in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, so please stick and stay. 
Tune in to AFN Television Thursday night for a CBS News special, Malcolm X, The Real Story. Dan Rather brings you the inside report on the life of the slain civil rights leader. Malcolm X, The Real Story, Thursday. Housing officials in the Bremerhaven military community have announced that the Harbor House Guest Hotel closes March 31st, 1993. Travelers on leave or TDY in the Bremerhaven area should call prior to travel to check on lodging availability. It's been said that non-commissioned officers are the backbone of the Army. An NCO must be capable of making life and death decisions. That kind of responsibility is only for well-trained leaders. Think about it. Setting the standards for leadership is a challenge. It takes an exceptional individual to fill those boots. Put your leadership skills to work. As an instructor, take up the challenge. We're the NCO Academies. We train leaders. The big baseball signing for Wednesday, Greg Maddox agrees to a five-year deal with the Braves, and it's worth 28 million bucks. I am opinionated, and I'm also Van Allright. He is both of those. I'm Vince Cellini. The news continues.